Alright, so now back in Skyview Temple. My readings indicate the pre presence of sacred water. Yes, we have to go through Skyview Temple once more in order to find the Water Dragon's sacred water. And, would you look at that conveniently, the sacred water is all the way at the very end of the temple. Yay! Well, good news is we don't really have to go grab the dungeon map again, we already have it. Um, bad news, we have some tougher enemies in this dungeon than we did before, like these Quadrababas here. Alright. Also, the spiderwebs are all back. Alright, good, I got rid of that one relatively <laughs> fast, so... Cut down the trees, and this time... Oh. It's a magma. Lead? Is that you? Hold it, you're that guy, that guy I met in the volcano. Here to do some treasure hunting, too? Yep, you're right. I called it. You got treasure hunter written all over your face. Did that big stone guy out there tip you off to the loop, too? Yeah, what did he say again? Strum a chord most beautiful in the place within the temple where butterflies dance. So I get here, I get I let loose some of my most gorgeous humming, and I guess nothing really happens. Alright, so... Remember when we talked to Gorko about the um, goddess statue as well? Here's our little introduction to goddess walls. <laughs> Link's like, I love how Link just like puts away his harp so quick. He's like, nope, I didn't do anything. I'm not doing anything. You didn't see anything. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't do anything. Nope, nope. That's not me. That's some other guy. Uh, so, Lead is going to be going on ahead, but anyway, now we activated the Goddess Wall. You can draw a manner of things on the wall, but if you happen to draw a little rupee symbol like this, the wall will give us tons of rupees! Yay! And that's all for the money. And I really want the money. And, of course, you can't really dig anything where Lead just came out of, but... Luckily for us, we don't actually have to continue down in this room. We opened up the shortcut last time we were here, so now we're back in the main room. Or in the first main room. But anyway, uh, there are now... a uh, Froax in here, as well as some Bakoblin archers. Uh, I don't want to do this right now. I want to actually go back. Yeah, I forgot I have to, to take care of something. But anyway. So, over there, there's a stupid Bakoblin archer and another Bakoblin over here that took a cheap hit on me. I don't even know why he was right at the door. But anyway, if you go over here, first let's take care of this Bakoblin archer, he's really annoying. You shall notice that this door over here that was once unlocked... Yeah, there we go, bye. Alright. It appears one of Girahim's underlings has rearranged... Or re-engage the lock. <laughs> rearrange the lock. Oh, I'm gonna rearrange it to look nice. Well, anyway, the door is locked and we don't have a key, so... Unfortunately for having to redo this dungeon, we're gonna have to go look for a key again. Yep, it couldn't be that easy. It definitely could not be that easy. Anyway, so you want to go over to this side on the left. Just fantastic. I work a little... I work like a weasel just to swipe a key from that guy and I lose it. I just can't remember which hole I put it in. Eh, what do I need a key for anyway? I can buy a trunk full of those things and blah blah blah. Well anyway. So as Led just told us, he found the key and he hid it somewhere but he just can't find it. Now I want you guys to use your memory to remember as far back as the first couple episodes when we were... Um, around like part 7 or part 6 when we were in Skyview Temple for the first time, I pointed out something to you guys long, long, long ago that there were some digging spots, but we couldn't do anything with it right now. Also, with our Water Dragon scale, we can now swim up here onto this ledge. And there's a... I forgot what these guys are called. Strods or... I, I can't remember. But anyway... Over here, oh man, I forgot now, <laughs> the, the key has to be in this room, I know that for sure. Oh, there it is, okay. So you want to swim down here, avoid the stupid Froak, and I got hit. 
And you want to crawl in here while swimming, which is a really weird action, but over here are some vines that we can grab onto. And back, back when we first did Skyview Temple, there was this little patch of ground that you could dig into, and inside is the small key that led hid the key. Well, there's a small key that led hid it in the bed. Never mind. Never mind. We just found the small key. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've like, it's hard to like talk at the same time while playing, while also at the same time trying to remember the name of that one enemy with the three heads. I forgot his name. Oh well, who cares? Anyway, now we can continue on in the dungeon. We're getting very, very, very close to the sacred water. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, definitely you want to bring a stronger shield when you're coming here, because the enemies are definitely much tougher, and your shield might break. But... That's beside the point. Anyway. Alright. I'm glad these guys are going down faster than before. Anyway, we have a couple Quadrobabas here, so... Get out the Hook Beetle, and now we can chop them down. Well, I mean, we could last time, but... Anyway, let's try to rearrange the Hook Beetle so he doesn't, like, fly into the wall. Yes, I said he. The Hook Beetle is a he, in my opinion, but... That's beside the point. <laughs> Go, Beetle! Oh, I hit that. Oh, I missed. Oh, thank you, Runaway Guys, for all that stuff. <laughs> oh, Runaway Guys reference. Alright, so... In this room... We shall have a mini-boss battle, I'm guessing. I don't really remember exactly... Oh, two of these guys, okay. It'd be really nice if I could remember their names, but that's, I guess, not gonna happen. And I like how they just all just leave me alone. It's like, no! Chop off your head! Pay attention to me! Oh, none of the other one's, like, interested. I killed your brother. Do you like that? Clearly you don't. And now you're dead. That must be a really sad existence, to be just an enemy just here, in the dungeon, just walking around endlessly for hours, for the rest of your life, until some guy comes along and just chops off all of your heads. Like, that really just sucks. It's like your purpose in life is just nothing. <laughs> your purpose in life is just to walk around aimlessly for no, no reason but to die. Yeah, anyway, I'm not sure if you can actually grab glittering spores from those mushrooms, but um, if you really want to test it out, you could just try. And that jump is a little bit too far, but luckily we can make it. Now over here, we have some Bakoblin archers standing at the very end. So otherwise, you can't really tightrope walk across because they will just hit you and you will have to fall down like that. So. Getting across this tightrope while those guys are alive is going to be impossible. So, you want you might think, well, maybe if I can get a bomb over there. Well, besides the dungeon key addition to this Skyview Temple, upon return, you will notice that there is a bomb flower located right here, and with our new hook beetle, one bomb flower shall take care of both Bakobl and Archers. Puzzle solving! Yeah! <laughs> Now we can easily walk over to the boss room. Alright. You can make it, Link. Whoa! No, you made it. Sheesh, I dig somewhere serious. Some serious miles to get it. Pause on treasure, and I don't get anything. I think so. Who is a stink. Who in this stinking world would blah blah blah? I'm cutting my losses and heading home. Yeah, you quit. You quit while you're ahead. And give me hearts! Yay! Alright, so, before you head into the boss room, make sure you save. <laughs> you might think, well, is Girahim in there? No. Girahim is not in here, but there is a nice, yet unpleasant surprise inside the boss room. Look left, look right. Girahim is not here attacking the door, but instead, 
We're going to have a battle with three Stalfos. Prepare for what should be actually a pretty tough fight. Um, definitely you want to have a stronger shield, like the upgraded wooden shield. But these guys, taking them all three at once is kind of a bit of overkill, I think, from like the game designers. But, I mean, if you can like isolate at least one and put in some good um, shield shield bashes or shield guards uh, to lower the Stalfos defenses. Um, you should be able to take care of these guys with ease. Alright, so just make sure you focus on one and when one, another one charges up his attack, make sure you just get out of the way. Alright. Oh man, I'm doing actually quite bad. Quite terrible right now, but... Alright, come on, one should be down. One is almost ready to die. Oh crap. Alright, take two. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Ah, oh. Yeah, that last battle went terribly. So that's why I suggest you save, because in case your shield breaks and you don't want to have to buy a new shield and upgrade it all the way, then you definitely want to just reset and redo this whole battle. Also, while I was um, failing in the last run, um, I realized you could use bombs to defeat these guys. Yes, the last time we fought a Stalfos, we did not have bombs, but um, according to or according to Zelda tradition, Stalfos are very weak to bombs. So just get a bomb out there, run around, get close enough to draw the Stalfos to the bombs. And the bombs should do the exact same thing as a shield would by making the Stalfos arms just fall off and then you can get in a couple cheap shots in attacking the Stalfos. Unfortunately, I'm getting way too close to the bomb. And look at that, just spin attack and you can easily hit them like a couple times. Alright, so let's just repeat this method, set down the bomb, um, sidle carefully, get in between all of them, and then do a spin attack. Uh, we should definitely have enough bombs to take care of all the Stalfos. And I got close, too close again. I Alright, one's down. Okay, I'm already doing much better than the first time. Alright. Alright, good. Spin attack. One more to go. Alright. We can take care of this guy with just regular sword. Oh, he just wanted one hit. Oh, come on. Alright. Yeah, that battle can get a little bit hairy if you don't use the bomb method. And if you just try to use your sword and your shield and, and you can actually do it, I commend you on your skill. Otherwise, just go with the bombs. It's the easy way and it's probably the faster way too. Oh, bombs. Nice. I didn't know you could actually get bombs here. Anyway. So now we can head off to the spring. I detect sacred water nearby. That's good, because I've already made it through the entire dungeon I couldn't find that sacred water. Alright, so you might think, well, this entire spring might have sacred water, but the truth is... Oh, we gotta get rid of a bottle. Dang it. Eh, yeah, we'll, we'll use a heart. No, we'll use a revitalizing potion, because our shield took damage. Alright. Well, you might think, this entire spring, well, you can grab any water from it and it's sacred. Apparently not. The only place that has actual sacred water is in this little waterfall. Yes, I'm dead serious. Only in this waterfall will you find sacred water. There's a 95% probability that the water here is identical to the water within the water dragon's basin. Well, I hope it's definitely not the 5% that makes you unsure about that. Anyway... It's nice enough for the game to just automatically teleport us outside the Skyview Temple. So, with our sacred water in hand, let's fly back to the Water Dragon and give her the water. So, I'll just meet you guys there. Alright, back in the Water Dragon's room, with the sacred water that we just acquired from the spring at Skyview Temple. 
Nice. <laughs> yes, just look at that color. There is no doubt this is the water I need. Wow, Link couldn't look more uninterested in his entire life. Make sure you save before this, because prepare for a... Boss battle! No, I'm just kidding. No, you don't You don't need to save before this. This is not a boss battle. Hmm, exquisite! Behold, the full majesty of Pharaon, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, healed, and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I asked you for. I see now it is no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained the water dragon scale. In turn, I will grant you the favor you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. I just sounded like I was constipated. I wish I had that power. Like, just stick my hands into water and just make a go to my will. Water bending powers activate! Go, the sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has barred entrance to this place for many years, monsters have still found way into it and inside they flourish. Ah, but you are the goddess's chosen hero. Swanning a few monsters will be no problem for you, whatever. So, farewell, boy. And you can fly, too! Water Dragon. Part flying, water type Pokemon. Anyway, over here, I didn't actually get this before, but there is a goddess statue. And hopefully we'll get a Monster Claw out of this. Hey! Monster Claw! Yeah! Alright. Alright, though we have opened the way to the next dungeon, um, we're actually not going to be going there in the next episode, or in the next recording session, because I'm done for right now. But instead we're going to be taking care of a few side quests that I need to take care of now. So I'll see you guys in the next part when we go to Sky Loft. See you guys then.